My name is Dr. Rodney Hood. I'm president of the Multicultural Foundation, and co-founder of the San Diego COVID Equity Task Force. So the origin actually began before we actually knew about COVID. So for decades, me and others in this town have been advocating for health equity. Uh, I worked with the San Diego County um, uh, Department of Health and Human uh, Services, with supervisors, physicians, led many local groups, including the San Diego Medical Society, advocating for this for you. And I must say over the past decade or so, the San Diego County Department of Health and Human Services and, and, and the Board of Supervisors finally began to get the idea of equity. COVID hit. And um, it, it was clear to me and clear to others who have been dealing with equity for a while that anytime there's a health catastrophe, minority communities, especially blacks and browns, are the hardest hit. However, we wanted to do something different other than talk amongst ourselves. We knew that in order to have an impact, whatever we wanted to recommend needed to be translated into policy. And at the Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Nathan uh, Fletcher was listening. We got the issue of uh, equity uh, at the Department of Health and Human uh, Services. Wilma Wooten, Nick Machignon, all of them responded. Actually, they became members of the COVID Equity uh, Task Force. So the goal of the uh, task force was really to bring together a collaboration of not only uh, scientists, physicians, health professionals, but politicians, elected officials. And what we wanted to do was uh, uh, follow the data because the data will point out where the inequities are. And then based upon that data, implement policies and procedures that equitably ad ad address those. The purpose of the Multicultural Health Foundation is to um, do outreach and education in the multicultural uh, communities in which we uh, live in about health inequities and health disparities. And uh, the Multicultural Health Foundation has been fortunate enough to have received grants from the Alliance Healthcare Foundation uh, and, and the uh, California Endowment to actually uh, do community-based intervention in the Hispanic African American communities focused on the uh, disparities. And the difference was it wasn't just a clinical approach, it was a community-based approach. So these individuals came together and said, we need to start organizing our community to lessen this uh, impact. So because of the other programs we were working on with our disparity, when COVID hit, it became clear to us that, as a matter of fact, one of the concerns we have is that the multiple comorbidities that sets African Americans and Hispanics do worse in a pandemic. Because of the pandemic, our concern is that those diseases are not being adequately treated. We have been blessed at the Multicultural Health Foundation to be the recipient of uh, a grant from the county specifically focused on African American to do outreach. And I want to congratulate the uh, county because in the past, I think this is a uh, story. The other part, is um, hiring, hopefully from the African-American uh, community, community health workers that will be trained to, to do follow-up and uh, contact uh, tracing with um, African-American populations, especially those that have already been affected. I would like to say I'm suffering with COVID-itis like everybody else. We're all getting very tired of isolated. I want to say to our community especially, this pandemic, uh, it's still there. It can, it can get much worse than it is right here in San Diego. So my message is, we're still in the pandemic. Remember, wash your hands, wear your mask. Um, if you have questions, we're going to try and get good information out there for you. There's a lot of poor information on the internet. There's a lot of myths on the uh, internet. And um, uh, at the national level, there's a lot of poor information coming out. We want to create a place where you can go and get good information, keep yourself safe, keep your family safe, 